Okay. To summarize what's happened since I last streamed, and a little bit of what at the end with last stream, I come back in time using the Lord of Vista's power and the Crystal Tower to the world before it was sundered to figure out what the hell happened. I'm at Sulk and uh, Hithlodius, Hithlodeus, um, give me some aether because I'll stand out. And they're looking for, they were looking for, um, what's his name? Fandaniel, but not Fandaniel as we know it. We were actually looking for Hermes, who will be the next Fandaniel. <clears throat> we meet up with Hermes, and he has this little cute, adorable harpy girl named, uh, Mitya. Um, and she has the ability to, to communicate via emotions. And uses some energy whose name I forget. It begins with like a, a D. And it's not like Aether. It's the equivalent of like dark matter. It makes up 60% of the all of the universe's energy. And it's extremely thin. Um, we find out through uh, that he's been secretly using her and her sisters, which I assume look just like her, to travel to other planets and stars to find out life and what the meaning of their living is so that they can have a better understanding of life because he's Hermes is a very uh, sweet guy who's just so wants people to live and uh, hates the fact that people have to die so she goes out there um, and then we tell Emmett Selk, Hithlodeus and Vinat who is the old Asm uh, that we're from the future, uh, shit has gone down, we ha uh, the world's ending again after it's ended once before. And, um, so then we look for Hermes again, uh, confront him about this, and he says, Oh, it is possible that the world's ended because of this energy type, and that's why we couldn't stop it the first time, because no one's really an expert on it besides me. Um, and so then we ask... Mitya, what has she report? What what's her report on the life forms, and um, the ugliest, creepiest, just image came up, where let me see if I can let me see if I can do this. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. Let me see, will this, will this pop up on stream? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So, I took screenshots, actually, a lot of them. And, uh, uh, and then when she told us about how she... Her sisters went to the planets, and she has a shared consciousness. Um, they told us about how every planet she's gone to had no people. And then one of the planets she went to, they were in a war, and they used weapons of mass destruction, and everyone died. And then the final planet she went to, she found people um, who were, if I remember right, were like uh, essentially using slaves or something like that. And when she went to go confront <coughs> one of the leaders of said people... Uh, just asking him why he does such a thing. Uh, he killed himself in front of her. Which, you know, her being a, a person who's attached, uh, who can communicates through and analyzing the emotions of living beings, um, and being raised by a man whose sole value of this life is essentially destroy her. And uh, this is the image that pops up. Like, bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. And then she ran away. Um, and when we finally got up to her to be like, hey, tell us the rest of the report. Um, Hermes trans did his um, Asian transformation into like a big... Well, I would say it's like the equivalent of like that scepter that the Greek god Hermes has been seen using with like, or even Hermes himself wielded it with like the twin snakes. It's like the medical rod, the twin snakes with the wings and stuff. Um, he looked like that kind of, but a more screwed up version. Um, and he's like, let her finish her report or what? Yeah, whatever. 
So, I'm assuming either A, something happens to Hermes, and she causes the end of the world, or out of, like, grief. Or B, she's already going to cause the end of the world because of whatever she thinks the world life needs to end. Or C, just something happens during this and, like, it causes a chain reaction. I don't know. Let me, uh... Let me, let me, let me, let me just quickly. It said that Hermes would likely perch somewhere at the highest point of the facility, but raising him will be no mean feat. To simply put it, Kithis Hyperborea containing a multitude of vast spaces linked this together at the seams, meaning the interior is far more massive than even this grand structure might otherwise seem. But even a colossal facility built the top of the bottom where savage creation will not stop you, not with the Nat and Emic Selk at your side, and I will be there too, of course, cheering you on. Dude! You're so cool. You're so nice. You're also a pretty boy. Like, look at your face. How are you not, like, the favorite fucking ass he is? Don't beat yourself up, bro. And it's so. From the moment we met, your visit has devolved into a never-ending series of complications and irritations. In spite of this, I've gained one useful thing. An awareness of Dynamis. That's the energy name. You think a power that potentially corrupt either has largely escaped our notice? Whether or not I believe in your tale, the facts underpinning your narrative will be the source of much debate. Understand that I act not for the sake of your fanatical quest. My duty demands I must apprehend Meteon. Meteon, not Metea. And if that now means Hermes as well as in Soviet. Bleak as the contents of Meteon's report might be, many could hear it and remain content with their lives. But not Hermes. For him, the veneer of perfection has long been cracked and it was, dis it was to the distant heavens he looked for the means to repair it. I understand the anguish after a fashion, my own refusal to return it in opposition to the world's established order, yet for me, imperfections only enhance fragile beauty of our star. I will fight to see it delivered from destruction, warts and all. Good talk, good talk. Alright. He's a bard? Okay. I like the music. Ooh. Yeah, right what bothers me and itself says. You heard what, what your creation is beneficial to the to start one more war. Okay. Oh, so that's cool. So this is literally a testing round for allowing the creatures to live and interact in the, in the environment and see if they could do good.
Yo, are you just using a wooden bow? Okay, that bow looks pretty cool, though. Twist designs. Love this music, oh my god. Prepare yourself. I'm not entirely useless. I have you. And the Selk is a dark knight, of course. What is up there? We go up there, right? We make our way to like an elevator staircase. Oh. Oh. God, this music. And this was a smart dungeon too. They could use the assets from previously made dungeons in order to design this. Like Garlemald's area. Oh, God. The area we were just at for me in the forest. Um, desert would be like literally anything for <laughs> Realm Reborn. I like viewers equipment. No. Okay. <clears throat> I like their horns and their Oh whoops, I've been accidentally using sucker. My hand was hitting control. Get out of there, you dummies. Yo, bro. Those little snowmen. Oh, man, I love this design. Normally, I hate these, like, golem-looking-ass creatures. Oh, but the snowmen makes it. Look at that. That's lovely. How much health do these things have? Okay, my stuff isn't broken, okay. Not entirely useless. 
Okay, first boss. Let's. Oh. oh what was that? What the fuck is that? Is that like a Emmett? Come on, Emmett. Is that like a Frothgar's like ancestor? Oh, that sword, Emmett, though. Nice chakras. Whoops, no. No, no, yes. And. Trying to hide from us. Power of us use it with shame. Oh, footprints. Oh. Uh. Footprints, footprints. Oh. Okay, I see, I see. So it's true. Yeah, who made this guy? Like, what? at one point where they're like, how about we just make someone that looks like this? Icicle. Limit breaking. I see. Oh, was that a different color than normal? Up uh, here. Of maiming. Just for the sake of it, just so all the equipment is uh, the same. Yo, that looks so cool. I hope I get the healing helmet. Cause I like my robe. Experimental artifice. We are up here. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. Oh, okay. Oh my god. They're, they're like frill, mushroom frill next. Oh, I love that.
Okay, they're obviously definitely not gonna attack me, right? Well, there haven't been any bonus treasure chests. Unless they like hook out bonus chests for the uh maybe I'll see one soon. But if there isn't then maybe they just took it out for the trust, so you can't like just equipment grind. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. Okay, there's one right there. I'm defending. Why this, this, this music is a bop. I haven't listened to it probably for 30 minutes. Journal. Ooh. According to Mistress Lysa, her creation is based on the concept for a bipedal wolf, and indeed it is unprecedentedly man like in its gait. It's also highly intelligent, as evidenced by its ability to employ tools. While the gleam in its eyes gives the impression that it comprehends our words, if this proves to be the case, it would be a shame that its throat isn't designed for speech. I must make mention of this in the next report. So, is it the Hrothgar? Like. Ancestor? Bro, who's that chonk over there? Can't find fault in his managerial prowess. Seriously, you want to discuss his candidacy now? Music is so cool.
Oh, are we gonna make our way over there and then go back down and have the final fight be in there somewhere? Choker Feather. Okay, it's a Hydra, Landon Lord. Good thing to see what manner of thinking is behind this. No accounting for taste. Be some sort of triple attack, I'm assuming. I see you, ugly. Oh, so big head, middle head's gonna attack. Oh. Oh, so the middle's gonna be safe. Oh, but oh, so it does the far left and the far right. Okay. Okay. And now she's using her limit break. That was a red beam. Okay. Pass for constitution, but a fail for intelligence. I'll reject it. Okay. What? Maiming, fending, sending, fending. Oh, so we're going up even more, not back down? Okay. Lower aerial. Okay. Not gonna give up, is he?
What? That was... <laughs> that was a little harder than I thought it would fall. I do like the lore for, like, how all of these, like, at least the bases of these screwed up monsters we've been fighting all of this time have all literally been created by the Asians just to populate the planet. Yes! Thank you, actually. Well, how high up are we going? Hi, hi. Oh, damn. Cosm Cosmopsis. Cosmopsis. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. That's so cool. Enough was enough for me. Stubbornness is a virtue, but this is a little excessive. Then I'm gonna run this again with a party, see how fast we can clear it. Just want to read the lore. Textual creation migratory birds. Oh. So they created the the ability to use magnetic fields for migration. That's hilarious. Oh, there's Herms. Hello, Herms.
Wing Defiance Tempest. The Jamaican Wimbo guy. I'm going to assume the green things are going to be some sort of AoE attack or like a grab or a bind I should say. So it's like the phase where he's teaching all of us. Oh. oh. He's interrupted? What? Pretty normal fight so far. He's getting interrupted, but so like you can use a skill that won't really interrupt it.
Come on, LB, somebody LB. That was a very not hard fight. Did we actually legitimately kill him? I hope not. Okay. You sexy, sexy man, Fan Daniel. This dungeon design, looks wise, 9 out of 10. I love this last area, like, at the, the stratosphere. This is fantastic. I like the intro. When you start off, you can see all the different biomes. That's fantastic. First boss. Really interesting design. Really cool mechanic. Love that fight. Uh, second boss, snakehead guy. Pretty basic. Okay. This fight, because it's Hermes, pretty cool. Also, it's a lot easier because you know of having a trust um in the, i feel like with randos it's going to be harder but again this fight was pretty good small sword wow okay you okay there you okay there? you okay there bud you okay there bud Excuse me, me too. Happy now. What story? It's over, Hermes. In the name of the Convocation, I hereby take Meteon into custody. And setting aside the matter of your nomination, you will come with us too. We require your knowledge to assess and resolve the situation. <sighs> Meteon, I am so sorry for that I could have listened to your report in full, reflected upon its meaning, and conveyed it to others, that they might reconsider their chosen course. But I have failed, and that wish will never be realized. However, ere our fates become the province of others, I bid you tell me just one thing. Was there happiness in those distant stars? Oh no, you're gonna hear an answer that you don't want to hear. Was there a reason for living. We conducted our search as per your instructions. We scoured historical records, communed with the spirits of the deceased, heard the final testaments of the dying welcomed their shadowed hearts into our own. Wonders had striven to create a world bereft of animosity. They renounced relationships to avoid interpersonal strife 
and in so doing brought about societal collapse. One race had renounced all and devoted itself to the enrichment of its people. They were conquered. Though they destroyed the enemy in reprisal, they could not regain their former glory. One race had concluded that finite time was the root of all woes. Aspiring to shatter its shackles, they went in search of infinity. They discovered nothing is infinite, and that neither time or death can be cheated. Disillusioned, they gave up on the future and themselves. Fuck, man. One race had discarded all things that gave rise to sorrow, hoping to have only joy. They found joy lost its savor in the absence of pain, and lost their will to live. The world was ours. We Cooper's shared a belief. The belief that they could survive. They had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In the course of which... Oh my... The truth. God. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow. Anger and despair. Ever lonely. So long. So she's like the main bad guy? I was kind of just talking on my ass. So she's being controlled by the souls of the dead who've given up already? That's kind of fucked up. The shoe's on the other foot now, Emmett. You're kind of a fuck. Let us settle this with a determination. In my authority as chief overseer of Elfland, I will make a 
judgment on man's fitness to exist. If he can learn to value all life and retain his will to live, he will be immensely gratified. He will surely find a way to reverse his demise. You're ending the world? exclusively just to see if we want to live as with all determination provisions must be made to restore the fairness kairos awaken memory reconfiguration system kairos activated awaiting instructions command universal memory alteration this is Will my echo prevent that from happening? The resultant shockwave accidentally triggered Kairos, which erased several days of memory from all present. Execute. Command acknowledged. Initializing. Three processes remaining to execution. Bravo. I dare say one would be hard pressed to make it fairer. Everything that you told us, everything that has happened. No. The fact we've even met. No. We'll all be gone. My buddies.
This is insane to me, man. Come on, Vanat. Too brave by half. Exemplary work, as always, Alistair. What? You motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers. Oh. For real, that's how I feel right now. Final process complete. Executing universal memory alteration. Go, Argon! So, is that why? Vinette also... I mean, they're not dead. They're just, their memory's being wiped, and now they're dead. But that is that why Vinat realized that she should make a shift just in case. I'm fine. Just a little tired. Can it be true? Are we the only ones left who see beauty in the world? In light? Are the stars above the only hubs for fallen civilization? Come on, do you really think they've been to every single goddamn star? Of course not. They probably went to, like, a bunch of them, and then we were like, oh, these ones are all screwed. I feel her. Though she is unimaginably distant, I feel Meteor's presence. And the place this is so goddamn interesting. Go. Yes?
first she made good her escape. I placed an enchantment upon her, one which allows us to follow her trail. She has already left the outermost bounds of the fairies and continues on her way. Given the vastness of the universe, it will still be no easy feat to track her down. But thanks to Emmet Selk and his Ladeus, all is not lost. We remember. So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. I'd like to know too. Let us ascertain the situation at Kakitas Hyperborea, where they should Easy. still be. I can play. God, this is so good. Given the likely state of their memories, however, it would be imprudent for us to approach them directly. In which case... I am sorry, my friend. I've asked much of you this day. But may I trouble you one last time? will investigate in our stead. We will share in his consciousness and see and hear as if we were with him. Now, close your eyes and open your mind. There is a gaping hole in my memories. I can scarcely remember arriving here in Elfland. Forgive me. I was preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to our guests. With Mithril, her shared consciousness became unstable. So, that's what prompted this state of affairs. And when you went to investigate, you were caught in Kairos' accidental operation. So it would seem, it's all a blur to me. Such an unfortunate accident. Oh, and what of Vidla and your other companion? You went inside together, as I recall. We did? Banal was with us. I have no recollection of it. But that there is her familiar, is it not? The fellow seems happy enough, so I think it's safe to assume his mistress is well. I haven't the slightest notion who this other companion might be, however. Well, that individual struck me as a bit stiff, for want of a better word. Perhaps it wasn't actually a person, but some manner of creation. Curious. I must ask Banal about it when next we meet. Yes, yes, you do that. Now, if we may tend to Hermes, whatever this Metean did, it seems he bore the brunt of it. Once you are fit to travel, you will return with us to Amalon. We need to make certain there are no other ill effects. Also, I'm here on business of the Fourteen. We've already had the conversation, like as not, but since your toy wiped my memory, we'll have to have it again. Yes, of course. As you see fit. 
This Kairos, it manipulates memory through the emission of etheric waves, correct? There is a theory which holds that memories scoured by blasts of ether are restored when the soul is cleansed in the underworld. If true, then perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these oh. blasts. Are they... Are we gonna like bring them back and they're gonna remember and they're gonna help us and Emmett Selk's gonna be like, sorry I was an asshole in Shadowbringers. Bro, what the fuck? Why is my friend, why is my buddy missing this? Let us rest. If only for a while. After all, you and I... We still have a long, long way to go. That was insane. Yo, not clear, okay. 